Guten Tag. We are so glad to have the leaders of the Swiss press and media with us this afternoon. And we want to thank you for taking time for your busy schedules to be with us. Today, we welcome the American leaders who have traveled so far to be part of this important bilateral project. Each of these women, just like their Swiss colleagues who will be joining us tomorrow, has achieved at the highest levels in their given careers. And reading your biographies has been a very humbling experience for me. White House advisors, Wall Street masters of the universe, CEOs, NGO leaders, lawyers, Pulitzer Prize winners, and much, much more. We thank you for your gifts of your wisdom, your time, your talent, and your influence. It's now my honor to introduce the chair of this conference, Mina Frau, Megan Byer. This year, our new report, Diversity Dividends, which we're releasing today, authored again by the wonderful Dr. Michelle Kelso and her team, provides best practices for improving the gender balance of boardrooms and executive suites. The report outlines the private sector initiatives already pushing this tipping point we can all feel to break the glass ceiling. Today, the topic of the glass ceiling is in the news everywhere. In fact, right now in America, there is a lively debate about whether women need to be trained to stop undermining themselves in the workforce. Sheryl Sandberg, COO of Facebook, has launched a book and social networking project that coaches women to lean in, to be more confident and assertive. It has been criticized by those who interpret this advice as blaming women themselves for the dearth of women in boardrooms and executive suites. This debate goes on. But research does show our culture conveys negative messages to women and girls. Moreover, these messages influence how women and girls perceive themselves and act on their ambitions. I am very proud to welcome Gina Davis to board. I'll take this one. Uh, Ambassador Beyer and Mrs. Beyer, thank you very much for having me here and uh, hosting me today. And uh, greetings to all of the esteemed participants of the Sister Republic Conference. I'm very, very, very honored to be uh, a colleague with you and to be here today. Uh, I am here today because I share the mission of the Sister Republic's Women's Leadership Conference, which is to support, encourage, and advocate for women to reach their full potential. My research institute has sponsored the largest body of research ever done on gender depictions in media, covering a 20-year span and looking at both film and television. And uh, we are very excited to use this research uh, to work side by side with the leading content creators of Hollywood to encourage them to dramatically improve how females are represented in all types of media, especially that targeting uh, children 11 and under. Our research results were stunning. Currently, only 29% of speaking characters in American family films are female. And uh, we thank you for being with us today, Sylvie. Thank you very much. Distinguished members of the US Embassy, dear Mrs. Davis, distinguished representative of medias, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and honor to take part in this press conference in presence of Gina Davis and also to participate tomorrow in the third meeting on committing to a stronger economy with women's leadership. Allow me to start by expressing my sincere gratitude to the Embassy of the United States and especially to Mrs. Megan Bayer and His Excellency the Ambassador Donald Bayer for organizing once again a meeting on this important issue. Megan Bayer has been a really good sister to our country. I'd like to call Michelle Kelso from George Washington University up to talk to us a bit about just a quick synopsis of that study. Good afternoon, and thank you so much for including me again this year at the conference. I'm excited to be here and to present the results of our report to you. For this conference report, I was asked to examine women's advancement in business leadership. The figures tell us that women are outnumbered in executive suites and boardrooms. Across the globe, women hold around 10% of board directorships. For CEO positions, the figures drop. In Fortune 500 companies, women were 4.2% of CEOs in 2012. In Europe, women were 3.2% of CEOs in 2012, excuse me, in large listed companies. 
Fortunately, the numbers do not tell the entire story as participants. Thank you. So if we, do we have any more questions? So thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you later on. Thank you.